This is a short introductory video for iMobile and our new S-Doc, uh, a tool that's used for restoring and testing stand for iWatches Apple Series 1 through to 5, including SE. This is the device that we are speaking about, and we're gonna do a quick little introduction on how to use this product. Um, this item is being used and its purpose is to reset and restore uh, operating systems onto the device when experiencing issues such as exclamation mark, constant resetting issues, or uh, after fixing the screen and the screen not being detected properly by the device, or when trying to add um, a new device, so a phone being added to an old watch and the iOS not being up to date with their uh, new phone that it is being connected through to. Uh, we'll be doing a little introduction showing on how this is works and how to make this process nice and easy. So the first step is to basically remove um, the casing which exposes the connectors for the um, the watch so that the two devices can communicate between each other. That is the little casing that needs to be removed and then simply sliding the iWatch into place into its little dock and then placing it directly onto the pins just like so. So once the device has been connected and placed on top of the dock, please connect the dock into your computer by... And then the second step is placing the device onto DFU mode. You do that by holding the crown button like so and pressing and holding the side button for around 10 seconds, like so. After 10 seconds, you would release the side button while holding the crown button up until you get a greeting arrive on your computer as so showing the device. Then what you would do is please note, you need to update to iOS 8.7 and you would do that as we are doing so right now. 8.7, please note, all the iOS 8.7 for all compatible watches has been listed up on our server with the following links that we will be providing to our customers. Um, then basically please note that you do need to update to iOS 8.7 and you then need to be updating to the later iOS's. Don't just jump in and update to the newest iOS available as you need to be updating it from, uh, for example, this one is uh, iOS 7 and we're updating it to iOS 8.7. And then if you need, you can apply a newer later iOS doing the same process. Then simply what we would do is just wait for the process to be completed. And that's basically how simple the resolution for the issues that you have been getting with the explanation mark error, resetting errors, or the screen not working after um, placing a new screen on or when trying to connect to a new mobile telephone while the watch is outdated uh, in an older outdated iOS. Thank you very much.